All right, so now we're going to add a, another biome. And in this biome, we're gonna go back and click the filter icon, add our next filter, and we're actually now going to add the canyon filter. So let's make a few adjustments here. So I'm gonna change its sharpness level to somewhere around 15. But now that I've done that, I wanna go ahead and point out something that's really nice. Let's increase the sharpness level pretty high and the general strength pretty high. Now I know this terrain is not what we're wanting to use because it looks really wonky, but I wanted to do this to really showcase exactly the what the lighting is doing here. So you can see the lighting is just, uh, it's just superb. We have all these highlighted areas on the sun side of the terrain, and you can even see almost sort of ambient occlusion-like areas that are being generated in more of the darker regions of the terrain, as well as the shade and shadow are coming in quite nicely. So this is this really messed up terrain really showcases the, the true testament of the effort that they've put into the rendering engine. You can even improve it a little bit if you if you want to show the lighting. Go over to the to the to lighting settings, please. Uh huh. And reduce um, scroll up and reduce the sky strength down to zero. That's the last slider. And then you can see the uh, global illumination working. Oh, look at that! So this this because we reduce the sky strength, that reduces any of the lighting that's on the terrain. So this, what you're saying is truly just the sun as the only source of lighting. Yeah. And the reflections of the light of the, if, if the light comes down from the, from the top, right, right. Uh, mm -hmm. goes to the mid, to the mid uh, highlighted their terrain. And this light is then reflected onto the terrain mm -hmm. on the other side. So you have those shadow parts going over to a very nice lighting part. So, you know, even the shadow parts are lighted because of the, of the uh, entire reflection of the of the terrain. Oh, that's just that's that's, that's a really nice uh, <laughs> that's a really nice feature. So let's go ahead and get that back to an area where we want it. So we're going to take the sharpness to around fifteen and the general strength down to around twenty. Seems to be pretty good, and you can see the effect that that had pretty quickly here on our terrain. Now the next filter that I wanna add is also another favorite of mine is the balloon filter. So we're gonna add a filter and go down to wherever it is. If these were organized into categories, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here it is, the balloon filter. This is a bit much, so we're not going to mess with the filter settings here. We're actually going to change how the balloon filter is distributed across the terrain. So in this case, let's go ahead and add our first distribution rule. And I'm going to specify slope in this case. So I only want the balloon effect to happen on a certain range of slope. So I'm going to select the slope rule here and let's set the max to be 90 because I want it to affect mostly on the uh, more steeper locations of this terrain. And let's set the low value to somewhere around, not there, somewhere around 59 and 60. And let's blend these just a tad maybe to get the effect that we want. A lot of this changing is going to come with trial and error, of course. So it may take some time to get used to the effect a little bit. But just be, be mindful that a lot of this is, in, in fact, pretty fun to adjust. So uh, through trial and error, I found that maybe somewhere around here seems pretty fine. Now, you're probably thinking, what the heck happened to all that erosion that you just added? Wouldn't you do that after the fact? Uh, yes, this was a trial run, but we're actually going to be adding some of that sediment back in right now by adding a new filter. And instead of the sediment complex filter, we're just going to add the regular sediment filter. That way we can definitely force the two biomes to work in a really unique way here. Because if this biome were the one on top, then presumably the outcome would be a little bit different, would it not? Yeah. So this effect is obviously a little bit more than we want. So let's lower the length level of our sediment filter down to something pretty low because I want it to cover most of the crevices. So let's select somewhere around, I knew I had it before. 
0.97 and the strength and the general strength seem to be just fine for our case here. So this, this is the effect that I kind of wanted and wanted most of our sediment to be here in the lower regions as the bulk sediment and some pretty sharp edges here for our cliff slide or the slope side of the terrain. 